Hi all, welcome to my channel. This is Vishnu. Today we are going to discuss about the SAP, SAP, SAP Activate methodology. So in earlier, we are using SAP SAP methodology for any kind of the implementation process. Nowadays for SAP S for HANA, we have to use SAP Activate methodology. There are a lot of difference between SAP SF methodology and SAP Activate methodology. First, we will see what are the major differences side by side. Later, we will go with the explanation. So here I am writing SAP, SAP methodology, and here SAP activate. We'll see the major differences side by side. So these are the phases. So phase one, two, three. So in the first phase, so in, in SAP, SAP methodology, the first phase is a initial preparation. So coming to SAP Activate methodology, the first phase is the prepare. The second phase is the business booking here, explore. Realization and realize. Final preparation here, deploy. Here we're calling as a go live, here we're calling as a run. So these are the differences between SF methodology steps and activate methodology steps. So here in SF methodology, the first phase is the initial preparation here. The first phase we're calling as a prepare. Business grouping, here we have to call it as a explore phase. Realization in activate methodology, we have to call it as a realize. So it is a mandatory to know the differences between SAP methodology and activate. This is activate, sorry. Activate methodology. Okay, so we will go with one by one, one by one phase. First, before explaining about the activate methodology, first we will discuss briefly about the SAP at SAP methodology. In earlier classes, I have given deep explanation about what is the SAP methodology, what are the each and every phase, what kind of the SAP, what kind of the works will be done by the FS, SAP FS work consultant. In case if you didn't watch the video, go and watch the SAP SAP methodology video. In this session, we are going to discuss briefly about the SAP SAP methodology. Then we will discuss about the SAP Activate methodology. So, so this is a main table. First, we will go with the one by one step. So, first we will check the SAP SAP methodology. So phase one is the initial preparation in SAP SAP methodology. See here, we are going to discuss briefly about the what briefly about the SAP methodology process. So in initial initial preparation means so what are the activities are done in the starting of the project in this phase what we will do so we will all the uh, we have to do the all project management task so
so in this phase all project management tasks will be completed so project management task means so preparation of the project scope arranging the team arranging the budget arranging the project agreements these kind of all works are done in the first stage that is the initial preparation stage i'm giving brief explanation only the second stage is the business business grouping so in sap pedagogy what we will do here So in this stage, what will happen? So FI consultant, as a FI consultant, we have to gather the business requirement information and we have to prepare the business grouping. Suppose if I'm a FI consultant, I have to contact with FI, I have to contact with the particular finance guy and I have to collect the particular information and I have to prepare the particular business grouping. So same process. So MM consultant and SD consultant also will collect the information and they will prepare the separate separate business grouping. At the end of, they will merge the, all the data and they will prepare the final business grouping. Too. This process we are following in SAP SAP methodology phase two. So the phase three is the realization. So here, So in the phase two realization phase, what we will do, we will activate the standard SAP process and we will create the custom business process. It means, so we will do all the configuration. So we will do all the configuration, activate the standard process means already SAP will provide the all the settings and all the co configurations. So, so based on our requirement, again, we will do the configuration. Creating the custom business process means suppose if you if your business required additional information, additional report, that time with the help of the ABAPA, we have to create the new T codes. So that is called a custom business process. Standard business process means we are going to use the existing SAP process. Custom business process means we are going to create the new new T codes, new enhancement for the particular reports. So, so here we will do all the configurations. This kind of activity will be done by the realization phase. The next phase is the final preparation. So here, So in the final preparation, what we will do, so unit testing will be done, 
and the functional as a functional consultant we have to provide the training to the business users and we have to prepare the go live we have to prepare we have to do some preparation for the go live and we have to upload the master data transactional data to the present sap system these kind of the works will be done in the project sorry in the fourth phase that is the final preparation phase the fifth project is the go live so this is the fifth phase is the go live so in the goal of step, we will start entering the business transaction. So there is one more thing a goal live with go live is there, go live with support also there. So support providing the Providing the day to day support. See here, providing the day to day support means FI consultant and ABAPA. Both the teams has to work for the support. Here, after go live, so there is a six months as per the contact period, we have to provide the support to the particular business user. While entering the day to day transaction, they will get a lot of errors. In case if they get any error, so as a FI consultant, we have to provide the support. So this is the SAP SAP methodology. Earlier SAP suggest use the SAP methodology. Now after implementing the S for HANA, SAP is advising don't use SAP methodology for any implementation process. If it is a HANA, if it is a SAP HANA, everyone has to use the SAP activate methodology. You can see there is some pro some terminology differences between SAP, SAP methodology and SAP activate. So now this is a SAP SAP methodology. Now we'll see what are the differences, I mean, what are the stages in the SAP activate. So here we'll go with the SAP activator. In the SAP activate, so again here we will go with one by one step. The first we will go with the phase one that is the prepare. So in SAP, SAP methodology and activate methodology, phase one is the common. There is no changes in the phase one. Phase one here we are calling as initial preparation. In activate methodology, we are calling as a prepare. So just the name is different, but same work. I mean, the work is the same. The first we have to prepare, it is about the project management task. Project management task means project managers, what they will do, they will prepare the scope of the project. So what is the timeline of the project? So all project related agreements like budget, uh, hiring the new employees, so providing the software to the particular new employee. So this all kind of the task will come under the initial preparation. So that is a prepare, there is no differences. So the first one is a related to the project management task. The duration is a very, very important. So here, so first I will write the duration for each one. So project management task initially it will take around one month. It depends upon the company. One month it will take. Preparation of the blueprint. Blueprint preparation is a main, I mean, primary work of the any kind of the project it will take around three to four months realization it will it will start from three months onwards so it depends upon the project it might be increased or it might be decreased the next one these three are the different different stages here it will come within one month we can complete it will take three to four months again it will take three months again Final preparation may take two months or one month. Go live support. Go live is a uh, direct, it will support. It it's, uh, depends upon the contract period. Six months or seven months as per the contract, every company will have, will pro every company will give the contract to the other companies. So we have to provide. So here, the first one is a project management task. It will take around one month to complete the all the tasks. The second one, excuse me. The second phase is called X 
explore. So the second phase is called explore phase. See, look at the SAP methodology second phase. The second phase is a business grouping phase. In SAP methodology, what we are doing, FI consultant, he, first what FI consultant will do, he will he will gather the complete FI related information from the business users. He will conduct the workshop and he will gather the all information and based on that information, he will prepare the business grouping. This is a SAP SAP methodology. In SAP activated methodology, what we will do, it, this is also the same process, but here in activate methodology, we are not going to prepare any kind of the business blueprint. Okay, so here we will gather the information from the business user based on that based on the information we will show the live system to the business users it means we will collect the complete information and we will show the here in explore page we will show the complete sap 